Well, on this day, we are taking you on a ride with the Golden Knights. Not the hockey team, but an elite group in the Army. And like a lot of us, COVID-19 has affected what they do, including recruitment. The I-team's Vanessa Murphy joining us now live tonight. And Vanessa, you had a chance to be a part of the team for the day, right? Yes, I did. And you know what? Training for the military is never easy, but this group goes through even more training to safely jump out of a plane and then take some people with them. It's part of recruitment, which is happening even through the pandemic. This is one way the U.S. Army does outreach. During the, the beginning part of COVID, we had a downturn, and then we're now kind of figuring out how to get messaging out again. These are the Golden Knights, the U.S. Army's parachute team around long before the Las Vegas hockey team. They travel, making stops and giving tandem rides, but the pandemic put these trips and other recruitment efforts to a halt. We started using digital media platforms. My recruiters do things like Zoom calls with the schools, and we coordinate a lot of things for guidance counselors. An Army spokesman says the Las Vegas area has had the highest level of recruitment for the Department of Defense over the past two years. Only 29% of applicants make the cut. The biggest disqualifier? Obesity. But food allergies, certain piercings, and health issues like asthma are disqualifiers also. For those who do make the cut... I initially started off as an 11 Bravo infantryman. There are opportunities like this. Ask them what it takes to become a Golden Knight, and I started working towards that. Staff Sergeant Daniel Osorio is now part of the elite team. He describes the challenge of 2020. So initially, it was it was shut down just like everything else. As restrictions started to become uh, get lifted, we were able to get back into jumping safely. Of course, you know we we're wearing face masks, practicing social distancing, and then we were able to start traveling more. Part of his duties, taking students with him. The goal is to connect the army to the American public. On this November day, the team is hosting educators, police, and media. Sign up, suit up, and then pair up with an army videographer. Well, you just. A little funny. What are you getting ready to do? Jump out of a plane. Then heading to the plane with Staff Sergeant Osorio for a ride two and a half miles up. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Have Buckle in with Staff Sergeant Osorio. And a jump. A free fall at a speed of 120 miles per hour with a view of Southern Nevada. This is Staff Sergeant Osorio's 3,017th jump. Parachute deployed and a smooth landing. It was awesome, and thank you so much for dealing with me. <laughs> you know, you were nervous at first, I was but nervous. then you put a big smile on your face, and you're like, let's do this. <laughs> An unforgettable ride and a way in which the Army hopes to reach future soldiers. And almost changed my mind, but Staff Sergeant Osorio helped me out, and we made the jump. Special thanks to him and the rest of the Golden Knights. We have more about them at 8newsnow.com, and they do more than just take people for rides. They actually do stuff like this. I'll show you guys. They make formations in the sky. It's pretty incredible. Again, we have more about them on our website. Reporting live, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.